Want to gain weight? Jeopardize your relationship? How about shortening life expectancy? And keep on watching TV. I haven't done it for 45 years and I'm glad. Some people call television the idiot box. With all due respect, I would call it the idiot's box. I say that because of what I experienced in my viewing days and because of what research has shown about the 99% of the consumer world that owns a TV and about two-thirds of whom have more than three sets per home. TV watching is addictive. Attachment to watching can be as strong as addiction to drugs or gambling. That's why the average watching time is five hours per day, which means that youth spend 30% more time viewing than they do in school. Now listen to this. Two-thirds of families watch TV during meals, and over half of four to six-year-olds prefer TV with being with their parents. TV's a drug, and that drug alters behavior. The 150,000 violent acts seen by the age of 18 makes viewers more aggressive, it insensitizes them to violence, and TV lowers our attention span. It robs your sleep time, alters your dreams, and makes you a couch potato by exercising less, hence you gain weight. And what about the mere 16,000 yearly commercials? They certainly have something to do with mindless consumerism, overdrawn bank balances, add to that the increased risk of depression, dumbing down on the brain and our susceptibility to blindly accepting as truth the information TV spews out. The result is TV is the new gospel, the new God. Researchers suggest moving the TV out of the bedroom. My humble suggestion is you move it or them out of the house. There's a wonderful world of creative freedom beyond the TV screen. Reading, writing, giving quality time to loved ones, and most important of all, this very novel idea of thinking. That uniquely human trait that TV robs you of. Put time into deeply contemplating who you are and what the purpose of life is. And when you consider these issues important, invest time in finding answers to them.